Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the comic book series and which comic books should you buy if you are lucky enough to find them. Now the comic books cost $4.99 and they were carried by most comic book vendors. I saw them everywhere in Houston and they still have them. I actually got a Duraz, which is, as you will see, a $30 promo for $4.99 plus tax. So at the cost of $4.99, you get the comic book itself as well as a card. Now, depending on what the card is, the card art is always going to match the comic book cover. So if you found Turnabout, you need to buy it because at $4.99, you get $13 is the average value of this card. And at one time, it was close to $25 or over $25. So it, therefore, it makes sense for you to pay your $4.99, you get your $13 card, and you're good. And it's a great, so what I like about this is any number of the cards, you can hold on to, it, to them, and they should increase in value. Acquire is a $7.39 promo, and the book costs $4.99. So in addition to the card, you get a comic. I'm assuming the comic has some type of collector's value, especially sealed with the card. But it wouldn't make sense for the comic to be less than $5 if it includes a card that's worth $7. So here's another one that you can acquire is another really good one, which you should keep your eyes on the lookout. So acquire, I mean, it's pretty much the blue ones. We are going to get to a red one, but the majority of these are blue, I feel like. And there are other ones like Breath of Malfoy or something like that. And that one isn't that much. It's a dollar two. So Faithless Looting is a $7 media promo. And the comic book again costs $4.99. All the comic books cost $4.99 with tax. Therefore, this is a good buy. And I do feel like that these cards will go up in price. They can only go up. There's no more comic books. And these, the IDW, even if they reprint the artwork and did something like that, these are unique collector's items. They are the very definition of collector's items because they go into the comic book genre, which is collection, right? So if you can find these at a comic book store, I found them recently. I found the best one, Duraz, recently, but I have to hit up a few more. This, I remember my comic book store that I go to having like 10 copies. I don't know how many they were sent. Maybe they were sent more, but they had 10 copies of Duraz and I didn't buy them because I didn't know at the time. Okay, uh, Stand Still, which has fallen out of favor. This is no longer a quite as a valuable card, but still it is over the value of the book, which is $4.99. And you have to assume the comic itself is worth at least a few dollars, but maybe in a few years, because it comes sealed, comes uh, wrapped. I'm positive if you kept it wrapped, it would be actually worth quite a bit of money. Not like over $10, but it should at least be $5 for the comic itself. And then you add the value based on the promo. Have I... Have I read this comic? No, I have not. I don't know if it was that great because they did get rid of it. So, okay, we have seven cards. We're almost halfway done. But I, I heard it wasn't that great. And if it was a really great comic, I don't think they would get rid of it. They would just continue because people would continue to buy it. All right, this one is slightly below. Slightly below the four ninety nine MSRP, but I wanted to show you the seven. I'll show you the six that are above, and then the one that's very close. Everything else is not worth more than the four ninety nine. Maybe still worth buying. Maybe they go up in price. Maybe they something special happens with that card. But for the most part, if you want to focus on a few comics, these will be the ones that you want to focus on. The Consumed Spirit, I like the artwork. I think it has potential to go up in price. It's just not one of the Planeswalkers. And Consumed Spirit itself is kind of a met card. But as you can see in Europe, this card is worth more than the price of the comic. I assume the price of the comic in Europe is like $4.99. All right, next one. 
the big one is Doraz. I expect this one to continue to go up in price. Why? Because it's standard legal. How cool is it to play this version of Doraz in standard? This is just so insane, right? The artwork is fantastic. The card is iconic, and it's now in standard. I would be extremely happy, just over the moon, if I was a comic book store and I realized that I had 10 copies of this card because no one bought the comic. And I know no one bought the comic because the comic went out of business. Like, there's no more comics. It must have been really bad. There are some stores, I guarantee you this, that have piles of this. And it's not just Duress. Duress is a home run, right? That's the $4.99 becomes $32. Plus, you get the comic. I'm sure the comic itself, because the card is so valuable, the comic is no longer a $5 comic as well. It's just a collector's item. Uh, and lastly, hide, High Tide. Pirate. Pirate Jace. I'm pretty sure this is Jace. Oh, no, this is Dak, right? Pirate Dak. Almost 20 bucks. I mean, if you are going to, if you had to pick two, it would be Pirate Dak and then it would be Durez. And that's insane because I know, I know because I found a Durez just in a random game. It was a board game. They don't even carry comics. Now, I know at the place that did co carry comics, they had tons of copies. They had just had so many copies of the, these comic books and they didn't sell ever. And I need to go visit them to see if they have any more. High Tide and Durez, that's where the money is. But I think the rest of them, if, as long as you keep them sealed, they'll be fine too. Now, Breath of Die Gods, the ones that are worth like a dollar or two, maybe don't worry about those. Hit these ones up first. But anyway, bye guys.